Hey everybody, this is Meaty Man, and I'm very sorry to tell you that there will be no Zelda videos this week. However, probably next week we'll be, uh, we will continue with Zelda A Link to the Past. But for now, I'm going to review the game Tunnel Runner. And it's an Atari 2600 game. It's pretty good. As you can see, it's from 1983. Um, I turned off the audio for now, but I will turn it up right now. If that isn't one of the best 2600 musics you ever heard, I don't know what is. Well, except Pitfall, obviously. Um, well, let's just start the game then and see what's, what it's all about. I said, start the game. And some more Atari noise. Um, that was the map. This is the game screen. And the goal of the game is... Wait, let's get the map. I said get the map. There it is. Um, I'm the little arrow. Well, well, it looks more like a cross on the left on the screen. Uh, to the left of the screen. Um, the two round thingies on the map are Zods. Who will try to capture me in these tunnels. And the thing that looks like a staircase is what I need to pick up in order to get to the next dungeon. Tunnel. And on the right you can see a uh, opening. And that is... Well, that is where I should go after I collected the staircase. So, let's run through these tunnels and let's hope the Zods will not capture me. The game is not unlike Pac-Man. Oh god. Where is it? It's a Zod! Well, there's something here. As you can see, this flowing, uh, sorry, glowing floor shows uh, where there was a door. If I would enter it now, it would teleport it to a random location in the tunnel. And I will do that because the Zod was close to get me. Oh, and behind me is the thing I need to pick up. Now that we've got that, we can continue with the dungeon. Tunnel. Darn it. So the entire objective of the game is to uh, maneuver to the dungeon, uh, through the dungeon, and uh, try to not get captured by the Zod. And no, I don't want to go there, I want to go... No! In there. To the right. And if I go to the left at this point, you can see an arrow pointing up at this door. I will go to the next level without the annoying sound. Oh wait, there it is. Annoying sound. So, once you start running, you keep running automatically until you hit the stop button. You can... As long as you keep the stick pushed forward, you run faster. Zot! Hey, wait, I didn't pick that thing up. Zot! Stay away from me. Darn it! Yeah, you can also walk backwards in different speeds and I just hit the wall. So, now I should run this way in order to ignore the Zods and pick- Oh god! Okay, that's in the park- Oh Zod! No! Gah! They're even smarter than the ghost from Pac-Man. Now where's- Oh god, the exit is all the way on the top right. Run, tunnel runner, run! You know, I think it's kind of sad that there aren't more games like this. It's a really great. Well, yeah, well, it is. It's a really great game. At least it was for its time. No. No, the wrong door! Well, for its time, it was a really, really good game. And, like I said, it's a shame there are more games like this. I think somebody should... Should remake this game in... Oh man. With 3D graphics and stuff. Oh, darn it. Forgot to turn off Life Messenger. Oh, oh, oh no, no. As you can see, the Zods have disappeared off the map. In later levels, the map will be gone totally. And you have to figure it all out by yourself. 
No way. Oh, no. No. Darn you! These small corridors. Uh, these small corridors give a nerving setting to the game. And a whole lot of paranoia, especially that you can hear the Zods approaching, but... Ah! But you can't exactly see where they are until they are right around the corner and stuff. I don't know what the arrow down does, so I'm ignoring that. Can't be good. Where is he? No. Ah, oh, you got to be shitting me here. Uh-oh. No. Well, I have to head in that direction. Ah, uh, no. Go away. Okay. This is going great, more or less. Darn it. There it is. Next level. Um yes. There's also a time limit for each dungeon. And I think as soon as it runs out, you're dead. You've got three lives, so I don't know if there's any way to replenish them. Haven't come across an extra life yet. So let's keep running away from the Zards. Oh, when you're at a point of interest like this door, you'll automatically come to a halt. No! Ja! Somebody remind me of the Langoliers. What? No! Come on! That's so cheap. Well, that was a close... Yeah, let's try that again for one more time. Got some time left, anyway. So, fun little game, if you've got some time to kill. It's pretty hard, especially at the higher levels when there are more Zods and they are faster and smarter. And when you're running at top speed to so avoid them. So, yeah. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of Molor, Depths of Dejinol. Which was a nice little dungeon crawler. Do you know of any good dungeon crawlers for recent times. I do mean dungeon crawlers, like games with one huge dungeon that could take hours and hours and hours to get through and then you still haven't seen half of the entire dungeon. Like for example, the Dark Spire. That was a nice dungeon crawler. No, stay away from me, Zod. I will get the thing. Yes, no, get away, Zod. Anyway, I think after this level, I'm gonna cut it because that's. About all the time I've got in this video. So anyway, the game is Tunnel Runner. Try it if you have some time to kill. I said that before, didn't I? Um, even if you don't have time to kill, try it anyway. Fun little game, Atari 2600. Shouldn't be too hard to get by, at least. I think. I haven't seen it anywhere. I can only play it on emulators. So, have a fun day. I hope you don't mind me not uh, uploading any Zella this week, and I'll see you next week probably with a new Zella video. Until then.